The Honorable Victor Fedeli, Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, and Chair of Cabinet, distinguished esteemed dignitaries from Canada, my own dear country Ghana, Mali, Uganda, Ethiopia, South Africa, Tanzania, and other African governmental representatives. Dr. Olutoyin Oyalade, CEO and founder of Casa Foundation for International Development, the Honorable Jean Augustine, and Casa board members. Thank you for inviting me and supporting Casa's incredible work. Friends of Africa, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to address the 13th edition of the Friends of Africa Economic Summit. My preference was to have joined you in person for greater interaction. However, a series of assignments in Ghana have made it impossible. But like they say, impossible only means I am possible. Modern technology and the power of internet have made it possible for me to address you. The summit is a beacon of hope, lighting the way towards a brighter future for Africa and its global partners. Over the years, the Casa Foundation has demonstrated unwavering dedication towards empowering our youth, women, and emerging leaders in the health, education, and infrastructure sectors. I commend CASA because their threefold partnership, mentorship, and sponsorship approach has been transformative over the past dozens of years. As we embark on this extraordinary journey of discovery and collaboration, the theme for the summit, Leveraging Economic and Trade Partnerships in Global Recovery, reflects the challenges our world has faced recently. In the next few minutes, I'll touch on four key sub-themes that if addressed can boost the growth and development trajectory of our various nations. These are economic recovery, trade partnerships, global trade and business investments and investments in African infrastructure. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the scars of the COVID-19 pandemic are still fresh in our collective memory. The scars have also shown that whereas nations with well-managed economies have coped better with the aftermath of the pandemic, poorly managed economies are helplessly struggling and blaming COVID-19 for every mishap that their countries are facing. As we gather today, we must remember that adversity often paves, paves the way for innovation and growth. And we saw how many nations rose to the occasion when it mattered most. If CASA Foundation with its limited resources can with determination scale barriers and achieve the kind of success that we are all so proud of today, then governments of developing economies, especially in Africa, have a duty of care to its people to do all it can to inspire them to dream again, work to boost economic growth, improve the livelihoods of the people, and ensure shared prosperity for all. Just as some economies in the world, in the wake of the pandemic, turned adversity around to their advantage, it is imperative that we as developing economies learn valuable lessons and pool our resources, knowledge, and expertise to accelerate economic recovery. We must also work together to bolster our resilience and emerge from this crisis stronger than ever before. As we all know, trade is the lifeblood of the global economy. No man is an island entire of itself and so is no nation capable of surviving independently. In an increasingly interconnected world, we cannot afford to build walls, we must build viable bridges. It is heartwarming to observe that trade involving Africa has recently increased, particularly in the post-pandemic era. According to Afrexim's 2022 Africa Trade Report, the value of inter-African trade grew by 18.23% in 2021, translating to about 169 billion US dollars, while that of extra African trade increased by 29.54%, translating in US dollars to about 1 trillion. Trade partnerships forged in the spirit of fairness and trust are the conduits through which prosperity flows. By fostering stronger trade relationships, we stimulate economic growth and cultivate a sense of togetherness and mutual benefit. Together, we can unlock new opportunities. 
diversify Africa's economies, enhance value addition, and drive a global positive change for all. The global trade landscape is evolving rapidly due to the increasing population and mind-blowing technological innovations that are happening in Africa and indeed across the globe. This really makes it essential that we adapt to these changes. The Africa Union's Agenda 2063, which seeks to build the Africa we want, the African Continental Free Trade Area, and other regional trade agreements offer tremendous potential for enhancing global trade. As governments, corporate entities, and individuals, we must seize these opportunities to create a more inclusive and sustainable future for all nations involved. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous English scientist Sir Isaac Newton once stated that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The nature of investments, however, is synergistic and incremental. Investing strategically in the critical sectors of your economy yields far more than an equal return. It produces a multiplier effect. Indeed, I firmly believe in investments as the seeds of economic growth. We must create an environment that encourages domestic and foreign investments. That environment means providing democratic stability, transparency, and attractive investments. Through this, we can not only ignite but sustain the interest of investors, businesses, and entrepreneurs who will partner with Africa to spare innovation, create well-paying jobs, contribute to the overall development of our economies, and enhance the livelihoods of our people. The vital role infrastructure plays in economic development is undisputed. We can unlock our nation's full potential through strategic investments in infrastructure. The UNCTAD, in its report, confirms the importance of infrastructure as an agent for economic development. And it notes that on average, a 1% increase in infrastructure stock is associated with a 1% increase in GDP. This is hugely significant, and its potential for economic growth is limitless, be it in transportation, in energy, or digital infrastructure. We must prioritize these investments to facilitate trade, improve access to markets, and enhance the quality of life of our citizens. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as we navigate the path to global recovery, Remember that our success is intertwined. We are all passengers on the same ship, sailing through the same rough seas of uncertainty. But during these turbulent times, our partnership, true strength is revealed. Let us unite. Let us stay together, work together, and succeed together. As Friends of Africa, let this CASA Summit remind us of the spirit of collaboration, innovation, and resilience. We can leverage economic and trade partnerships to steer our nations towards a brighter future. I do not doubt that the discussions and actions that will emerge from this summit will shape the destiny of Africa, our generations to come, and the world at large. Thank you for allowing me to join you via technology.